welcome to the weekly update. Um, happy Easter, by the way. It is Bunny Day, and um, I will be very busy this weekend. But I'm taking a moment out here to make this video, and I want to focus on our friend here, Wing, and Bryce, who brought us this trade, and it looks to be a really great trade. So indeed, from the low um, 30 range, this blue line you see here, uh, back when it was uh, trading around there, under and in this area here, um, you know, uh, where do we go from here? Well, let's examine it and see where we are. First off, uh, I have a target right here, and you know, how do I trade this? Do I just, I'm just holding for target. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm holding for target. Now others, uh, you know, there's a few ways to go over and trade this that uh, might be more applicable for them. For example, if you are 100% profit and above in this range here in the upper 60 range, and let's say you have 100% profit, taking half off, taking half off is not a bad idea. Because what do you get? You get a free trade, right? You, you get a free ride. Uh, so you can't lose any money on the trade. Uh, so that's one idea. And then you can go for uh, several areas. Let's take a look at here. Uh, you can see that it's gone all the way. It's, it's starting to pass the 61.8, which is great. Um, there's my target, which is fantastic. But what if it passes the all-time highs? Uh, the next level up from there would be in the 130 range, around 132.63, right here, and above. That would be what I would looking for. Uh, if you want to hold beyond my target level, which is right here. Now, a lot of my trades are statistically um, relevant, but there is a basis for crypto trades that give numbers that are higher than the statistical relevance of trades that might be in the stock market or in other asset classes. Uh, crypto has an upside bent. So where normally this target would be statistically relevant uh, on a numbers basis, in crypto, not so much. It might actually be higher to up to the highs up here. So I, I could go over and change my numbering um, based off of what I've seen over the past year or so. And what we've seen is an upside uh, uh, mean, basically. And it's just normally it, it goes beyond target. And a good example of that, let's go over and ch check out file. This is one that I had uh, that I was looking for here as 100% target in the 140 level and so forth. Well, we could see we've gone beyond that, right? And just like just like um, our friend uh, Wing, uh, File has, is making its move in an upward trajectory and, you know, it, it's surpassed uh, its all-time high. So is now Wing gonna do the same? It's possible. Uh, this was a trade from way back when, this is early in the year, back in December and January when I was talking about it, and I said These, here are some good targets for it and, and whatnot, and um, it's gone way beyond. So that's another indicator, you know, the uh, pure, you know, uh, the money flows, uh, what can I say, the institutions, whoever. People are moving into crypto, and there's plenty of money, and that's what's helping push these numbers and a lot of these issues to all-time highs with a great deal of ease. There's so much money in the space that uh, uh, doesn't seem to let up. It's just um, it's pretty amazing. Um, but that's where we are with that. So let's go back to Wing and take a look at that again. And we can see we're starting to make that move. So this looks like it's going to be very easy to hit. Now, would, would I like to change my targets? Would I like to change? Why? Well, you know, that's not a bad idea. What if I took half up at this target? 
and then looked for the other half above this target here. That's an idea. So, you know, and again, I, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. I'm just here to show you the, what the trades that I trade and what I think and to educate you on what's there. And, uh, you know, I have a high uh, likelihood of being successful because, you know, I, I done this for a very long time. And, um, you know, so a lot of my trades work out and, you know, they're not always, uh, it's asymmetrical in nature. It doesn't happen when I want it to. And I'm not going to make a trade happen when I hear newbies and new people in the room saying, oh, I want to trade. Good for you. So do I. I want to trade too, but that's up to the market. That's not up to me. So let's be very clear. I don't trade based off what I want. I trade based off of what the market is telling me it can give. And uh, that's the key to you know doing well in time. And you should focus on that. All right, let's get to Bitcoin. We can see Bitcoin is tested the lower boundary breakout of its trend line right here, which is normal. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's go to a four hour. And you can see it right here. See how it broke out here and then dropped right back down to there and now is meandering. Now what it does from here, if it goes over, it's, it's going to build a level of support. If it breaks out above this level here and makes its way above the high, it's going to have a level of support right in this area. Um, so that's going to be interesting. It could be developing a level of support all along here. Let's draw a trend line all the way back from here. And let's make it blue. It's very simple to see, right? It's all right there for us to look at. So high, high, highs, high, and a previous high over here. So this area could become support if it breaks out to the upside and decides to follow into the trend line. Then we can get now from where we are, we can look at the um, upper 60K range which is above the 65, 64 previously that we were looking for here. Um, and it's doing very slow and it's building very nicely. Um, it could still also drop all the way back down here, um, which is where I'm going to be buying. I'm looking to buy 10% more if it does that. Uh, hopefully it will. Uh, but if it doesn't, you know, and we keep going trending higher than the next and the levels up are going to be in the upper 60,000 range. And that's what we're looking for there. Um, Litecoin, Litecoin again is uh, getting the volume and getting the reverberation that I want, but it did not take out this trend line. Uh, so we're waiting to see that. That could be a possible explosive move to the upside. It's going to be interesting to see. And then my favorite coin, the coin that I'm overweighted in, uh, that you guys know about uh, and I'm looking for bigger numbers to the upside because I think this on a profit basis is the best trade that I could find in the market for crypto right now and that is our friend XRP uh, right now it's threatened this whole upper 60 level right up here and again if you guys just want to take the short-term target trade Anything above this 65 would be a good exit point, but I don't want that. I want bigger money on this, and I want to see numbers all the way past a dollar and all the way up to two dollars. Thank you very much. I think the SEC is screwed, and they're going to have to go over and um, call it at some point. You know, it's like watching a football game, and the the team is losing really badly but they're still trying to hold on. <laughs> well, that's what the SEC is doing right now. Uh, they've lost. They've totally been, their asses are kicked. And now they have to try to make it look like, you know, they're coming out ahead. But, uh, and that's going to equal XRP exploding to the upside. So that's what I'm holding for. And uh, I'll keep holding. And um, is there anything else out there that is really interesting? Oh, not so much. I mean, you've got the trades that you normally do. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, nothing out there of real interest. No. No, nothing that I, I really see that I want to talk about. 
if I don't want to talk about it, then there's nothing to really to go off of. Uh, of course, you guys know about my Tesla. I'm still holding for the target down here, and I'm still holding long on my my uh, you know the Volkswagen to the upside here. So that's a great hedge trade. Uh, I did take half when it went above the uh, 356 area up here, and uh, you know all about that. That's no that trade's a free ride, right? I had a well over a hundred and something percent return on it, and uh, so I can't lose on this trade. And it hedges my Tesla short. Uh, so this is a, uh, and now my Tesla short is under my short average, which. Um, it's stretched all the way up here, as we could see with this pattern here. Uh, pretty remarkable. But it could also make a butterfly here, which is going to be interesting. So what I'm looking at in the price action, I've seen this do this from pattern to pattern. Um, and it, the volume is kind of telling me that uh, this is the case. So we saw this pattern right here. Oh, let me close out of here, right? And look at that. It goes right back up to it. Volume made sense. Everything here was perfect. Runs back up to here, finds resistance. So what is it doing here? Is it making a bigger pattern, a secondary pattern here? And this is kind of commonplace when you get really heavily traded type of issues. Let's make this one blue, because that's what it is. And, okay. Is it making a bigger, I've seen, Issues like this do this. It could stop right around here, let's say, and then open up Monday on a much lower um, trajectory and just start dropping precipitously. And then what would we be looking for in the future is for it to at some point go all the way back up to here and maybe even higher. Um, I've seen patterns like this do this, and it's usually in a series of moves. But I have to go over and confirm the volume and, and check out some statistics to see if that's viable or not. This is just what I can see visually. But visuals alone don't really add up to much. I have to go over and have them uh, have a volume basis, uh, a statistical mean, and there has to be certain elements in there, in the price action and the trading that you can see visually. And it would take some uh, work to, to do that, and I'll do that next week. But I kind of see that as being a, a high probability. So we could see a fast spike down in Tesla next week. Some bad news or something comes. That might be interesting. Um, other than that, uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful Easter. And I'll talk to you guys later in the week.